Previously on Gladden TV. Hey, there's always gonna be people that beat you to the punch. There's always gonna be people who have bigger bags than you. Don't let that discourage you from having your foot in this game, you know? Hey y'all, what's up man? I know it's nice, right? It's a nice sight. I'm right here at Manhattan Beach. There's a beach in Los Angeles called Manhattan Beach for those who don't live in California. Uh, living in California has been a blast, but I do want to leave. And I'll give you a little nugget here. I have enough crypto money to do exactly that. But that's not the goal. And I just got hit by a wave. <laughs> um, how do you call it? My girl's like running for her life, trying not to get hit by a wave. Um, that's not the goal, man. The goal is to not move somewhere else and then you're still struggling, right? That's not the goal. At least I would hope it's not, at least for you, right? Look at her. <laughs> Running for her life. Um, I just like the fact, man, that we're, what this space gives me, and I'm sure what it gives a lot of you guys, it just gives you hope, you know? It gives you freedom to a certain degree, you know? A lot of us are still waiting on our time to come, you know? Although, there are people who became millionaires this bull run if you want to call it that certain coins have went up certain coins haven't budged and certain coins like digibyte for instance it's just been you know well it's all perspective it has gone up i mean yeah but we're looking for that life-changing wealth and like once again it all depends on how much you had when you bought it and before it actually went up this round. Um, a serious note, I wanna live around people who like jogging, people who like running, just people who are calm, cool, and collective, right? That's like a goal, that's a dream of mine. I love jogging, not every day, but every other day. I've noticed something in this crypto space that you have to keep your health intact because there will be no splurging going on without it, right? So many things on multiple levels besides worrying about passwords and private keys and 24, what is it, 24 key phrases. You have to worry about your health. All of it's relative, you know. You lose your 24 key phrase, your health might you know but um yeah i'm just hanging out here man just trying to catch a vibe and that's basically it um i think uh a lot of people do you want to say something babe come right here what do you want to say how's life going for you Huh? It's good. Ooh. You said it's good? Yeah. What do you want to change in your life? What are you tired of? Working for people. Why do you like not working? Why do you don't like working for people? Because I don't like working for people. Okay, well, what are your plans when you make it? As far as this, in this crypto space, what are your plans? What do you want to do? What will make you happy? To work for myself, invest in myself. I mean, I'm already investing, but to invest in my own business and be my own boss. And, and in a sense, be a boss to somebody, but the way that I would be a boss is like, I would do the completely opposite of what's being done, not just to me, but to everybody. You know, when, when it comes to requesting days off, you gotta give, you gotta lie, you gotta, it's, it's a lot of politics 
in between all of this like or if they want to if you want to move a position um they never really tell you a straight answer they just tell you oh we'll let you know when another one opens this one just doesn't fit for you it's like how are you going to tell me what fits for me <laughs> like, <laughs> I <love> that shit. <laughs> yeah. so yeah like that's my ultimate goal to be my own boss to move and do whatever i want to do not depend on somebody's permission to do it and you're already a boss right just right. a lot of people don't know it right right <laughs> it's cold water <laughs> nah come on come on keep it going you're doing good this is the first time she actually jumps on camera like this you guys this might just be her video no i mean from a scale of one to ten though i mean how tough has this crypto space been? It's been tough. It's like a roller coaster. It's like it has its up and it has its down. Like it's just it plays with your emotions, you know. But you you can't let it get to you. You know, it's part of the game. Like I mean, be honest though. When I first told you about it, were you skeptical or were you like all in? I was, I was skeptical. You know, like anybody. Well, not everybody, but. Most of us will be. You'll be like, what is this? You know? Where is my money going to? <laughs> and then when you don't see it moving, you're like, um, is this a scam? Like, I don't see anything. <laughs> but then eventually, you know, it's the waiting game. It's the patient game. It's the, you know. Is this like the only thing that matters right now in life? And of course, what I'm saying, you're not taking it, don't take it out of context, but isn't it like the only thing that matters? Like, right now like this revolution that we're embarking in yeah it's like you know i still work a nine to five and it's like i still deal with the bs of work but at the end of the day i know what i got going on and that's my ultimate motivation to keep going and it's the only thing that matters like if somebody has something to say oh you didn't put this email right in my head i'm like you worried about the wrong thing because I got something else going on. I'm not worried about the email. Like, okay, next time I'll, I'll make the email correct, but I'm not worried about this. All right, all right, all right. You know? Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's been tough for everybody. I'm sure anybody who's watching this video, I'm sure you have a sig significant other that you just don't like seeing them go to work. Get up out of the bed in the morning and hit the shower and put their clothes on and they gotta watch you lay there depending on what your schedules are right they gotta watch you lay there as they get up to go work for somebody else fucking sucks it sucks and i'm tired of it i'm tired of waking up and seeing her go to work I'm sure she's tired of waking up and seeing me going to work and when i say waking up it's like damn my best friend is going to work for somebody and there's nothing I could do about it. it doesn't matter how much knowledge I might know there's nothing I could do at that moment besides buy crypto that's how I look at it man this this space has set me free to a certain degree you know for the first time in my life for the first time in our lives I feel like we we have goals you know like we have, we're a ship with a destination we're not just a ship that leaves the harbor and it's floating out in the middle of nowhere like we have goals if you're anybody who has goals it, you have no choice but to succeed you know you got to put that in the air you know you got to be positive me personally call me self-centered i feel like the world revolves around me to a certain degree she might think otherwise but you got to think like this I'm not trying to be a narcissist here, right? But I really do. I believe the world revolves around me to a certain degree. If I was never born, this beach doesn't exist. You know, you get what I'm trying to say? But, yeah. The sand water has gone into his ears, okay? All right. It's not that. You know what I'm talking about. Somebody like or comment if you know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, man. I've noticed that uh, in this crypto space, as long as you gotta wait for for most of us, um, we we are gonna reap the benefits. We are. I strongly believe that. And I'm not the person that's just getting on camera, trying to uh, how do you call it? Mas 
massage. What is it? Massage you? I'm I'm brain dead right now. Oh wow! Look at that sunset. Let me run over here. Hold up. Come here. Look at the little birds. Look at the birds. Ah. Nah. I'm having too much fun, right? We're having too much fun. But um, I'm just not the type of person to get on camera and basically tell a bunch of bullshit, right? These, what I'm saying is facts. Everything I say, I try to be as authentic as possible, you know? <laughs> There's no other way to do it. Because I don't want my story to be what the Bill Gates story is. I don't want my story to be what the Elon Musk story is. I don't want my story to be what any of these people exaggerate to. I don't want my story to be anything like that. And these people who have the greatest stories of all fucking time. I was sitting in my room one day and I was watching, I was watching MTV and it came to me, bottled water. And I took the last $5 that I had and I bought and yada 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 these people are amazing you know that's something you also gotta understand in this crypto space people are gonna lie people are gonna fucking lie their asses off about how much of this they have and how much of that they have they're all fucking criminals let me tell you first all of them every last one of them there's no way possible my thoughts are just kind of like jumping around the place, but yeah, man, stay around positive people because you need that. You know, there are times in this space where I just want to give up, man. I just want to throw in the damn towel because there are times when I come to the beach like this and There are times when I come to this beach, you know, and you see these million dollar homes and it's just kind of like discouraging. Like, are we really going to become millionaires doing this? Like, are we really gonna become, is this really gonna be life changing, right? Because you see these million dollar homes and it's just kind of like, fuck man, these people are always gonna have the fucking jump on me. If they have the money to buy a million dollar home, they're always gonna have the money to get into crypto and whenever the hell they want, you know? Me, you, we don't have that luxury, you know? We have to basically bite, scratch, dig, and crawl for every fucking dime that we have, you know? And that's not fair, you know? Life isn't fair. And that sucks because it should be. I mean, look how beautiful this is. This is beautiful. That's free. At least for now, right? <laughs> At least for now. But my point that I'm making is I just wish, I wish that one day, you know, in the not too distant future, and I'm not talking 10 years from now, I'm hope that one day we can all just for once live good in this world you know we shouldn't have to experience paradise in the afterlife you know we should be able to experience paradise here on earth you know and that's for people who believe in heaven and earth i mean heaven and hell and so on and so forth i'm not gonna get religious or anything like that but i will say this i do believe in a higher power i do believe in god i grew up christian but when I turned a certain age, I just kind of like flipped the switch, you know? A lot of things weren't working for me as far as when I would get down on my knees and pray, things of that nature. So I just started believing in myself, you know? I stopped giving, let's just say, God the glory. And don't stop this because, I mean, don't, don't judge me, you know? But I started believing in myself and things just started happening to me. I started to basically succeed, you know? Examples of that is just kind of like, 
I just believe in myself, man. I try not to give the glory to anybody else but myself. And that's basically it, man. Uh, although, like I said, I grew up Christian. I'm always going to carry those ideals and norms with me. Because they were embedded within me since I can remember. I still pray over my food. I still respect people. There's nothing more I can say, right? But what the hell does this have to do in the crypto world? My point is nobody's gonna save you. Nobody. You have to save yourself. You have to pull the trigger. You have to pull the trigger. You need to save yourself because nobody's gonna save you when it comes to this crypto space. That's just my personal opinion. But I'm gonna end it with this, man. Buy as much as you can for as little as you can. Why? Because you won't always have the opportunity to buy cryptos at the current prices they are today. And remember, what you won't do, the next person will do, and that person is me. And thousands to millions of other people that have the same vision and goal that I do. Um, whether if you're religious or not, right? Just believe in yourself, believe in your higher power that you might believe in, and just, man, rock and roll. Go, go, go full into this thing, you know? Because I feel like we're never gonna have this opportunity ever in life. We wish and we pray all the time and it just seems like nothing happens to the bad guy. Nothing, nothing happens to the bad guy. I'm sick of that. It makes me sick, you know? It makes me sick that even if you were trying to get unemployment, there's still people that are trying to block you from getting that unemployment. Even in a pandemic, can you fucking believe that? But, yeah, that's all I got, y'all. My girl's getting restless. Our feet are getting wet. And um, that's all I got, man. Peace. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard.